Hello guys, this is Astro Rent back at it again and today I am going to show you how to do color calibration on Cyril. So stay until the end of this video in order to see how I do all the types of color calibration and of course get the knowledge you may not have right now. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have here the image I took from Messier 106. The thing is that you can see the colors are not that much correct, you know, you have some uh, green pixels, some blue pixels and all this stuff. In order to correct this, you're gonna need to do color calibration, which is an action we do in order to calibrate the colors on an image, the red, the green and the blue channels. So in order to do this on Serial, you're gonna need to go to image processing and of course be on the linear state. I'm just gonna go right here in order to, you know, stretch the image and I'm gonna need now to go to image processing go to color calibration and as you can see we have three types of color calibration the color calibration the classic one the photometric and the spectrophotometric these are three different types and as you can see the photometric and the spectrophotometric just we cannot do that i'm gonna show you why after we do the color calibration so in order to use the color calibration the standard one you're gonna need to select an area in order to fix the background you're gonna need to select an area with no stars let's go to auto stretch as you can see this is an area with no stars so with just a selection and then click on use current selection i'm gonna neutralize the background so as you can see now the colors are somehow more uh, different now the next one you're gonna need to do is to go to the linear state again and select an area of the, of the galaxy so I'm gonna select this one use current selection and apply you can see now that the colors are corrected you know we have this blue color I guess something like that it looks like a blue color instead of this yellow to orange color so this is how you do the color calibration you can also do a manual uh, white balance which is somehow more for advanced astro photographers but i think that it's okay like that you know so i'm gonna take everything back and yeah i think it's okay right now and in order to use the next one which is the photometric color calibration i went to saturation yeah the photometric color calibration you're gonna need to place all the image so this is how you do it you go to tools astrometry image plate solver and here you type the, the deep sky object or any object you have on the image i'm gonna uh, write M106 find and here I'm gonna type the focal length of the telescope or lens my telescope has a focal length of 750 millimeters and the pixel size of my camera which is 4.29 so this is how you do it click OK and we have played solved the image now if I go to color calibration, you're gonna see that we're able to use both uh, photometric and spectrophotometric color calibration. So let's go to firstly to color calibration, the photometric, and uh, you can see the interface is like that, simplified. If you had the previous uh, version, the Serial 1.2.6, it had this plate solver too, but now they have removed it and uh, moved it to the tools and the astrometry uh, tool. So I'm gonna click OK, simple as that. And you can see that, yeah, that it is because of the thing I use right here. If I go to auto search, this is how it looks. 
the before and the after. Great difference, I guess. The colors are boosted right here. So, let's go to Spectrophotometric, which is the last one we're gonna uh, use. And as you can see here, the interface is somehow more advanced, you know. We have here a white point reference. The average spiral galaxy is what is useful for any types or the most types of deep sky objects. And this is a spiral galaxy, I think. So, yeah, I am not really sure, but this is what I'm gonna use at all. So, uh, here you're gonna select the sensor type. Because I use a color camera, I'm gonna leave it to one, one shot color camera, but if you have a monochrome, you click like that and you type the filters. And of course there's a narrow band mode in which you can also, um, you know, uh, type the narrow band filters you used and all this stuff. Here on the OSC sensor, I have picked the Canon EOS 600D, which is the closest, I think, it's similar to my uh, own uh, camera sensor, so this is why I selected it. And you can see, because my camera is modded, I used the Bader BCF Astro Mod uh, filter. But if you have a stock camera, you're gonna need to check this one, which is the blocking filter. So, you can see there are many options right here. I'm gonna select this one and here on the OSC filter you have uh, many options again because I didn't use a filter on this one I'm gonna leave it on no filter but if you used any of these filters right here you're gonna type it and uh, select it so uh, we have the atmospheric corrections next I am not pretty sure how this works so I don't think I am in the right position to showcase that so I'm gonna leave it like that and click OK. This is how it looks. It is similar to the color calibration, uh, the simplified one. And yeah, I think it looks really nice, you know. So this is how I do it. Uh, and something that you might not know about this is that if you don't want these tabs, uh, you know, these tabs right here to appear, the thing you're gonna need to do is to just uncheck the plot fits. And simple as that, now there's nothing uh, right here. So, this is how you do it, this is how you to do color calibration on Serial. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I helped you with this uh, process. If you want to see more about image processing, you can write uh, anything you have question on the comments and I'm gonna do it. So thanks a lot again and I wish you clear skies.